Castañeda. Doblaba la defensa argentina. Hay insistencia chilena. Atención, Ramírez. This is how Marcelo Salas' dream debut happened for the Chilean national team, at only 19 years old. The Matador played for the Chilean national team for the first time in 1994, in a friendly against Argentina. The Argentinian team had figures like Ruggeri, Simeone, Claudio Canigia, and a player called Diego Armando Maradona. Salas was beginning to forge the path to a successful career at the expense of this group of great figures. The ever-powerful Argentinian side was preparing for the World Cup in the United States, while the team, at that moment coached by Mirko Josic, was looking to consolidate its position for the upcoming qualifiers for France. And so it was that in 1994, Argentines and Chileans met once again at the national stadium. The first half ended 1-1. to -one. In the second half, the historic scorer from the town of Temuco would make his debut. In the 66th minute of play, a young Marcelo Salas entered the field. He'd been making waves in his team, Universidad de Chile. Todos lo recuerdan a Marcelo Salas en su debut de Clásico con los tres goles a Morón. Pero su real debut fue en el Monumental, un 0 un 1 a 1, donde a Salas le hacen el penal, al Matador le hacen el penal, y ahí, desde, ahí ya empiezan los hinchas de la U a decir, oh, este cabrón tiene sus cositas. Y empezó a jugar todos los partidos, a hacer goles, y su consagración máxima fue entrar ante Colo Colo en el Nacional, cuando hace tres goles. Aparte también eh, con su celebración hermosa que... que que ha traspasado generaciones y creo que en todas las canchas cuando juega gente hacen el matador, por lo menos lo hinchas de la U. Chile was losing 2 to 1. And eight minutes later, the striker scored his first goal. It was the equalizer for Chile. The match ended 3 to 3, leaving a good feeling for the 1998 qualifying process. It was the beginning of a rising career with Chile's national team. Salas would go on to score 37 goals in 70 matches throughout his career with the national side. He was the second top scorer in the qualifiers for France with 11 goals in 12 games. That's one less than his loyal teammate Ivan Zamorano. Together, they formed a lethal duo recognized worldwide in the 90s. Salas is the third highest scorer in Chile's history, being surpassed only by Eduardo Vargas and Alexis Sanchez. This is a story that started well and ended much better.